like to welcome people to the pedagogica. To the stairs. No. Hi, I'm Dana, MTV, and welcome to my crib, Espresso Americano. <laughs> Oh, there's no. Oh, there's the sign. <laughs> so we're at the university. university. But it's our. Everyone loves us. Third to last day at the school. So I thought I would film something of our normal sort of day. Us. People like us. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> I just want to give a little snippet into a normal day because all my other videos have been about like, stop it. I felt it. Have been about trips and stuff and this is like an actual normal day and this isn't a real tattoo but isn't it cute? It's not part of the vlog. Sorry. Not, not a normal start to the, the day because normally right now I have history class, but our prof didn't come today. So I'm just hanging out with this kid and that one. <laughs> Had espresso americano, which is like Starbucks in Honduras. Look at all the feeties. All the feeties. Oh, you're clicking today. Fancy. This is our classroom. Na mi brito. Na 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 na. Frosty, mi amigo. Kind of the pros and cons of how. So, old people and some young people from one church, and they're all white. And like the next group, like there's no not much diversity in who's drawing from this. How's your balada? Good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pan con frijoles. Looks so sad. Yo <laughs> payaso. Sí, payaso. Norma me dijo que yo tenía que amar eso. Hi, poppers. Hi. This is Caleb's backyard. Super nice. So I just thought I could sit down and just like chat a little bit about kind of hello. Might be interrupted a lot, but that's okay. Cause you oh cute but rough. Wow. Okay. I just thought I would chat a little bit um, just about some things in Honduras. So obviously we're here studying for a justice semester so studying justice issues and we've been looking at issues like immigration violence health systems education systems government um, like vulnerable groups such as like um, LGBTQ plus or like indigenous groups um, so those are just like a few of like the many um, issues that we've looked at over this semester and we only have I don't know when I'll be able to make this video and post it but right now as I'm filming it we have like less than two weeks left so um, yeah we've learned a lot and we've had a lot of experiences and it's been 
a really awesome experience, especially because this is my second time being here. And it's been really cool to like be back with my same family, to be with Caleb's family, he's with a different one, but um, they're really awesome. And like experiencing it with a different group and a different focus has been really fun and really awesome. Um, but there are some things that are like, I don't know, just want to talk about, I guess. Um, one of the things that I was like definitely feeling today and I've been feeling it a bit more. So I'm not an extrovert. I'm not like loud most of the time. I'm normally pretty like keep things to myself kind of deal. And we just have a lot of like very outgoing personalities. So sometimes something that's like just something that happens, oh, it's going to get loud. Everyone's going to start barking. Okay, so what I was trying to say was that I'm definitely more of an introverted personality and I tend to like get overwhelmed easily by a lot of, sometimes it's noise, like I'm pretty sensitive to noise. Um, so like being in the bus with a lot of loud people, like that was a thing for me today, like it's essential to have my headphones just so I can kind of get away from that. Um, and not that it's a bad thing at all, it's just like for me personally, sometimes it's like overwhelming to be with a group all the time. And I think that's just like, if you're ever gonna do a study abroad trip with a group, that's just something to expect and to be like prepared for, especially if you're like my kind of personality that you get overwhelmed easily by, by like people or noise. And that's like the case for me. So that's just something that happens sometimes, getting overwhelmed by just like being with people all the time. Because like when you are with a group, on a semester abroad, you are together all the time. So that's just something to get used to and something that like overwhelms me sometimes. Um, another thing is I try my hardest to be a vegan here. Not my hardest, that's not true. I try to be a vegan here and for the most part, I like I don't I have not eaten meat here I've been definitely been a vegetarian here um, but it's just hard with dairy because it's like such a part of everyone's life like dairy and eggs um, so the hardest thing is with coffee and there's these things called granitas which is like a frozen coffee kind of like milkshake thing that I love I love them I'm pretty sure they have milk in them so it's just hard with like coffee especially because I do like to drink coffee and like buy the fun drinks and the lattes but like no cafe really except like if you're at the airport has almond milk or soy milk they just have skim milk and regular milk so I've been cheating with that and I understand that I haven't been very nitpicky with like checking if like the bread that I had today if that had um, dairy in the ingredients or anything like it's just a little bit too hard for me to like always be asking those questions so I try for the most part to be vegan but sometimes with products like bread or I don't know other things that I would have to check the ingredients I don't really ask about it to just not be a pain um, and then yeah with coffee I like coffee and I've been cheating and having like skim milk and lattes um, and stuff like that. So the other thing that goes along with the coffee thing is it's really hard to not be using plastic here and I could do a much better job just as I could do a much better job with the whole vegan thing and not drink any coffee and be really dil diligent but like I'm not that diligent right now. Um, so with the plastic like I'm getting coffee in plastic cups and having I have straws and all that stuff so the vegan thing I've been able to be a vegan but it's just been nitpicky stuff like that like I'll have milk in my coffee or there's dairy in some sort of product so I just try to be flexible and I try to not stress too much about it because I know that it'll be easier when I go home um, yeah, and then the plastic thing, I just, I could have done a lot better with it. 
I have my travel mug, but I just like don't bring it around and it's more of a hassle to ask people. And then sometimes like at Espresso Americano where we were this morning, if you ask them to fill up your travel mug instead of a plastic cup, they'll use a plastic cup to measure like the granita amount or like the latte amount that you need to get and then they'll pour it into your your cup so sometimes it just feels like it's kind of useless because they're gonna give me plastic anyway and it's been hard at the cafe or the cafeteria as well at the school or like when we go out for lunch that like you get things on styrofoam and it's just really hard to like control that here just Again, because I'm not making my, my own food and I don't have like my own kitchen to make stuff. Um, and because I'm not being like super diligent about it. So that's something that's like I haven't been great at that I want to like get back at when I go to the US, but I've kind of given up here, which is sad, but it's just like the reality of being here. So, yeah. And like my toothbrush, I had a bamboo toothbrush and it was great, but then um, it got moldy. So like I had to buy a toothbrush and there are not bamboo toothbrushes around here. Same with like toothpaste, like my toothpaste sometimes, like I didn't want to travel with it when we, did tra when we did trips because it would melt if it was too hot. So I like bought a tube, tube of toothpaste. So stuff like that, that it's just like hard to get around um, when you're not at your own house, doing your own thing, in your place that you're most comfortable and know how to do it the best. So, um, yeah, those are just a few things that um, I've been thinking about and wanted to share. And yeah, so we just got back from school. Today we were talking about child sponsorship and uh, short-term missions and just like what are the impacts with those? How do they work? Who benefits? What are the like pros and cons of it? Um, so those are very interesting conversations and classes. But yeah, so we're just hanging out at Caleb's house. I think I'll hang out in the backyard and read because I have to read for my history class and study. We have a exam on Thursday. So thank you. See, he just bit, he just like, you just put your whole mouth on my arm. Don't ya? Yeah. Yes. This is the cafe we always go to. Hello. So this cafe is where we come basically every day and do our homework and anyone that's gone on the Honduras semester knows of this cafe. So we're just gonna do homework for the rest of the night and hang up. Thanks for watching.